Hey, good morning. Hey, how do you kick off your mornings with your team, with your company? Come on, Steve. Let's kick this thing off, man. Stay with us, all right? As we're going to kick off our day with a bunch of amazing people that are a part of one of our events. Stay with us, okay? Come on, Tatiana. Come on, Tatiana. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Steve. What day is it? Opportunity day. Yeah, we don't Woo! believe in Fridays. It's Opportunity Day. So let's get this day started real quick. We've got a lot of guests in the house. Cody, please tell us about some of our guests. Let's give it a hand for our guests, all right? Let's go, let's go. Okay, so we are in the middle of our business expansion workshop. Started yesterday, started Wednesday night with a social. Yesterday with a bunch of content. Today with a bunch of content. Uh, Andy, Lauren, Landon. Our attorney, a bunch of other people spoke yesterday, did amazing. And so all, these are all the attendees that are hanging out with us this morning. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to change up just a little bit. Okay, this is what we do every single day, by the way, and what you guys need to be doing every single day. Okay, so I want to throw it to each uh, attendee really quick. Okay, and I want you to share name, where you're from, and a big takeaway for you so far. Okay, and then we're going to continue our meeting, what we normally do. Okay, and you guys stay with us too. Okay, so here we go. Okay, let's throw it to Luis. And they'll keep going around. Luis does uh, Tampa take away. I need to hire more agents. Boom. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. All right. Here we go. PJ. PJ Sands from the Bahamas live in Houston. Need to delegate. There we go. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mr. Brian. Brian Thompson, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Need more agents. Yes, you do. Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Tatiana Torres. Tatiana Torres, New Jersey, and it's not difficult to hire people. It's easy, actually. Come on now. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Emily Trevino from Houston, Texas, and my biggest takeaway is building a more strong and youthful culture at our organization. Joanne Chambers, Springfield, Missouri, and it's time to scale, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Lee Wilson from Idaho. Uh, biggest takeaways: I need to hire secure agent marketing to do some marketing. Yeah! Come on now. That's right. Hey, my name's David Camper from Austin, Texas, and my biggest takeaway is if you don't research me when you come to get hired, you're fired. Oh! Uh, Matt Timmons, Springfield, Missouri. Core values, mission statement. Needed to develop it, and we'll get it going. That's right. Woo! My name's Ernest Mitchell. We're from Greenville, South Carolina, and my biggest takeaway is that we got to take this serious to take oh. it to the next level. Take yes. it serious. Right. Go! I'm Lauren Mitchell, and from Greenville, obviously. And our biggest takeaway, my biggest takeaway, was culture is key. Yes. yes. No. Kim Wynn from Houston, Texas. So expand and conquer. There we go. There we go. Carlos Polito from Chicago, and I need two helicopters. <laughs> Rebecca Davis, Stephenville, Texas. The blueprint to interviews. I got six interviews Monday morning. We're going to put to work. Nice. My resume from Houston, Texas, and my biggest takeaway so far is it's already there. You just got to do it. That's right. <laughs> Christina Foley, St. Louis, Missouri. Steve Foley, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> and my biggest takeaway is getting the systems in place so that we can build a strong foundation for new agents to come in. Right. Hey, did we miss anybody? Was anybody hiding in the bathroom or anything? We didn't miss anybody, did we? Okay. I think we got them all. Give our attendees a hand once again, Kay. Appreciate you guys being here very much. Okay, this is what it's all about, right? You want a team that turns into a family, all right? You guys are now part of the family, so thank you for being here, okay? I'm going to turn it back over to Steve as he always takes over the, uh, runs the meeting, and today I'm taking over, so let me put it back to him, okay? Okay, I'm looking for Josh. He's not here. He's, He's not standing here. in. So, Toby, standing in all right. a quick win. So, we've got a win for today. We're going to highlight Jake. Jake's been here, what, about a month? Come on, Jake. Six weeks, maybe? About that. Just killing it on our design side. 
picked it up super fast, already getting in design. Had some people behind him admiring his work this morning, so kudos to Jake. <laughs> Two wins, uh, C8 percent. The first win is going to be about eight percent. Guys, we are at 875 tickets for this year. Yeah. Okay. Last last year, we only could have 330 people in the room, and it was our best show yet. I can't imagine how great this year is going to be with filling up the entire room with agents that are going to get value and content. Okay. Second win is going to be yesterday at the BEW. Everybody, all of our attendees that are here today, they invested in themselves and they came in and now they're going to be able to take the content and value that they've learned and implement into their business and that is going to be a huge win for them. So. So this morning I want to talk a little bit about archery. Anybody out there do, do any archery? Shoot a bow? Hey, Lee, we got a couple people back here. Okay, so I've done a little, very little, I will say. But but give me an idea. How far can you hit a target if you're doing good? Pardon? 60 to 75 yards, somewhere in there. Okay, so 60 to 75 yards. They're a whole lot better than I am. Okay, I'm going to say that right up front. But... But yeah, it is very hard to hit a target when it gets put out farther and farther. I want to tell you about a young boy named, named Matt. He was growing up and he had one goal. I want to be like my dad and my brothers. I want to be able to hunt. I want to go out there and hunt just like they do. Well, finally, when he was 16, he got a bow. Matt didn't want to be just like any kid with a bow. He wanted to be an archer. And he didn't want to be just some archer. He wanted to be the best. He sat there and he would practice with his bow. Day after day, he would literally shoot the targets. We're not talking hundreds of shots. We're talking thousands and tens of thousands. He kept practicing. His friends, actually told him it was the stupidest thing they've ever heard of. He was better suited for a different sport. This just was not what, what he should be doing. It made no sense at all. He didn't care. He wanted to do this. He kept, he kept shooting. He was doing good at 25 yards. Took it up 35 yards. Soon he was shooting 50 yards, which doesn't sound like much, but that's half a football field. That's pretty hard to hit a target. And he was actually competing at 50 yards. He was a very good archer. In addition to that, Matt also started to see how far he could shoot and hit a target. On December 9th of 2015, Matt actually set a world's record hitting a target at 310 yards out. Wow. Now, I want you to yeah. stop and think about that. 310 yards is three football fields, end to end, plus a little bit more, okay? I don't know how he saw the target, <laughs> let alone hit the target. But he hit the target. That was a world's record at the time. He's, he's been ranked near the top of the world rankings, he still competes. I did forget to, to uh, mention one tiny detail. You see, Matt was born without any arms. Oh. Yeah. No way. Yes, Matt also does not use any pros prosthetics. You see, Matt was not looking for excuses. He was looking for opportunities. Our circumstances do not determine our lives, nor do they determine what we can accomplish. When you take control of your mind and look for opportunities, instead of excuses, anything is possible. You can Google Matt on, on uh, you can Google him. There's also movies and books made about him. I would suggest doing that, but today, as we head out, I want to look for opportunities. 
Are you guys ready to smash Friday? Oh! What? I can't hear you. A little bit loud. Let's go. Thank you, Steve-O. All right, hey, are you kicking off your day like this? Is this the kind of, is this the kind of meetings you're running? Come on now, all right? If you're not, you need to be here.